Hey, what's up? Zach King here with a Final Cut Pro slash Soundtrack Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some time stretching. And this is a very applicable audio lesson for most of you. This tutorial was brought to you by EditorsKeys.com. Go ahead and go over to their website. Right now we're actually doing a giveaway as well. You can enter a contest and you have a chance of winning some awesome gear from their website. That's EditorsKeys.com. So most of you probably don't have the luxury of hiring a composer to write some music that fits perfectly within your timeline. So in this case, I want some music that starts right after this flashback. It starts right here and ends right before this AT&T logo comes in at the end. So what I want to do is basically have music that fits between here. Now we're going to take this in the Soundtrack Pro and do some stretching and some music. So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to right click on my sequence. It's called AT&T New 1.5. I'm going to go to Send To Soundtrack Pro Multi-Track Project. A dialog will come up to ask me to save it. I'll say yes. So we're in Soundtrack Pro. Here's the layout. If you've never been in here, I've got a couple of tutorials to show you and walk you through so you can get comfortable. But for now, go ahead and hit Command T. That'll open up a new track here. We can even name it our music track. Now if you come into our search tab, we're going to see soundtrack, sound effects, instruments, etc. I'm going to select music beds, which it's already selected. I'm going to come down and find some music. And this is anything that's already pre-composed. They have different lengths. Okay, so I'm going to come down. I've got a song here I want to use. Greasy Wheels. This is a short, medium, and a long. I'm going to pick the long one, drag it in here, and I want the music to start after this flashback. You can see the video over here. Now I'm going to begin our music right during the middle of the flashback here at this last scene. And I want it to end at the AT&T logo. Not quite, so we need about two or three more seconds. You can see our seconds up here, this is 45. Since I need to fill in the few extra seconds, I'm going to make sure this is selected. You can see it's darker green. I'm going to go to Process, Time Stretch. Now I'm going to hit Seconds. We could also do this in Time Code, Frames, Dropped and non drop Frames, and then Percent. I'm going to do this in Seconds, since I know that I want it to go to about 42 seconds. Hit 42. OK. Now, in our editor, you're going to see it's actually added this extra white area. It's given us some more frames to work with, so I'm going to open this up. And voila. So let's check and see how this sounds. Nice. So it's added that. And you might be able to tell a difference. Maybe not, but if we come down to our Actions tab, I can unselect this. Here's what it sounds like without it. and with it. So what it's done is it, it's actually slowed down the tempo without changing the pitch. The pitch is the tone of the notes. So the notes are all the same but the actual tempo slowed down. So if you do it like just a few extra seconds like I did, I added three, four seconds, that's going to be unnoticeable for most people. So the next step is taking it back into Final Cut Pro. We're going to go down to Export, Command E, I'm going to call it at t Final Music. We're going to make sure this is on a master mix. Check that. Also check AIFF file. 16-bit, 48 kilohertz. And then what you want to make sure is checked is after export, send files to Final Cut Pro sequence. Now we're going to hit export. Now this automatically prompts Final Cut Pro to open. It has an import XML dialog window that pops up. Just fancy language for bringing something from soundtrack to Final Cut. Destination, it's asking if it can be in this project right here, the AT&T commercial. I say OK. And hit OK. Now our new sequence is brought in AT&T Final Music, which is the name we saved it. I'm going to go ahead and check the ending and make sure it looks OK. It's not rendered. Good. All I have to do is render this out. It automatically bumps by default 
audio track 1 and 2 for the music track that was brought from Soundtrack Pro. So there's how you time stretch music in Soundtrack Pro. Make sure you check out editorskeys.com and also check out the contest giveaway that we're doing right now. You can win some awesome prizes for just being creative and making a quick video. Also check my website out, finalcutking.com. I'm keeping you posted. I'm Zach King, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.